Legit breakfast, man. I called in. Oh, uh, yeah. Because when you get outside, it's the shivers. It's 23 degrees, but there is no clouds. It's going to be gorgeous. I know you're all blowing over there. You're like behind her going, yeah, shake, shake, shake me. <laughs> We are back here at Dick's Creek Gap, ready to start the trail again this morning. Ah, okay, so since I deleted two of my freaking videos, I'm gonna make Teague, who now has a new name, tell us. Yes, by the way, Teague got a trail name. Woohoo, Teague. What's your trail name? Mary Poppins. And what are you going by? Poppins. And why are you? Because I rock the umbrella. Mm -hmm. And some people think I'm practically perfect. <laughs> Anybody in particular? My children, of course. <laughs> yes, <laughs> that's awesome. Well, it's to, it promises to be a nice day today, like high of 60, no rain, just nice. So <clears throat> that's what we're hoping for. It already, I mean, it's cold, but it feels warmer than it felt like it was yesterday. And it's not windy right now. So, all right, so let's go hike. So what we were told that this is a more gentle climb this morning. Gentle climb would be nice. So far, so good. We'll see. <clears throat> but I had a good breakfast. Plenty of OJ. So I'm hoping I will have a little bit more energy this morning than I did yesterday morning. Because yesterday kind of sucked. It's crazy how much the snow has already melted since yesterday. Um... I mean, we got off twelve trail about 12.30, so I guess between that time and all the sun, it really melted a lot. It's kind of crazy. You can kind of see you know, bits of it off the trail, but yeah, so far, the snow is gone on the trail. All right, so I'm about half a mile in. And we have another like 11 and a half miles to go today. We're going to try to make it to Mus Muscreet, Muscrat Shelter. Um, and uh, so we started at Dick's Creek. So, yeah, about 12 miles today. Um, we have a lot of significant climbs today, a lot. But we decided we'd rather do all that today with the weather being nice. Since tomorrow and Tuesday is supposed to be a, quite a bit of rain. Um, so, yeah. So, we got a lot of, like, ups, downs. But yeah, we got some pretty good ups today. I have a feeling I will be shedding this jacket pretty soon. It's already feeling warmer. I took my hood off because I can just feel myself sweating. I'm, like, really ready to take this rain jacket off. Um, I mean, it was 29 degrees. Well, it was 20 or 25 degrees when we arrived here um or it, it was in Hawaii Hiawassee, but um like the real Phil said it was 29 and yeah it, I mean it, it definitely feels warmer than even though it's cold it feels warmer <laughs> if that makes any sense at all <sighs> all right well and it does look like there's some I mean, there's show some views on gut hooks. So maybe we'll have some cool views today. But it'll just be nice to have some nice weather for a change. I'm looking forward to that. When Jerry came yesterday to try to help me recover my videos, he brought two of those body armors. I put mine in my, my cup. He got one for me and one to give to t Poppins. And uh, he's just like the best husband in the whole world. I mean, he's such a great guy. I mean, he's been so incredibly supportive. I mean, you just, you don't realize, like, how good you got it, you know, until something like this, and it really shows someone's character, you know, and their devotion. I just love him so much. 
I love you so much, Jerry. And yes, he's my man. You can't have him. <laughs> yeah, I'm just so lucky. I really am. One exciting thing about today is that I will be finished with Georgia. Woot woot. Headed into North Carolina. This is pretty cool. One significant milestone gonna be down today. Yay. It's kind of crazy in some ways. Oh, still a little bit of snow hanging on. Ooh, what's kind of icy. Oh yeah. Still got a little bit of snow here. Of course, I know we're not really done with snow anyway, so. But it's not to get a break from it. That's for sure. Well, we made it to Cohort Gap. Look, that's real pretty back there, isn't it? Pretty. All right. So far, it's not been too bad. I mean, the, the ups. But we'll see. It definitely looks like we had some pretty significant ups today. I see several of these kind of trees on the trail. It's kind of interesting how it does that. Must be having a hard time fighting worms or tree bugs or whatever they the woodpeckers try to get. There's been a lot of woodpeckers out today. There's all kinds of snow on this side of the mountain. Some big old icicles up there. Lots of them. Alright, made it to Plum Orchard Gap and there's a Plum Orchard shelter down there. Um Anyway, but we're just gonna keep going. If I take a break, I'm gonna take it like up on a view. The nice thing is it looks like we're on the sunny side of the mountain again. Yay! That uh, like snowy, icy type of stuff is hard to walk on because it slows me down a lot just because I'm afraid of slipping and falling. All right, we're climbing a little bit here. But not too bad. It's funny how the snow, it just stops and then it's dry. Well, man, I must be doing pretty good. It's not even 10 yet. And I only have four and a half miles to the Georgia, North Carolina border. And I only have seven miles to get to camp. Dang. I didn't realize how, oh no, it's crazy. So, because I was going to try to take like a well, lunch break or something like halfway through, but then it's like, if it's only 10, I'm not going to want to take a break this early. Well, I don't know. I'll keep hiking. We'll see. Oh, I feel like that might be my first birds chirping since I've been on trail. I don't know. It feels like it. It's awesome. On the snow again. I just can't wait to get off the snow again. <laughs> Going places that I've never been before. But I can't wait to get off the snow again. 
least it's not on the trail so much. Well, I brought baby Yoda out, let him get some fresh air. I try not to take him out if the weather is like not the greatest. Like if I'm gonna have to focus on, like yesterday with all the snow and wind, I had to focus on that and I don't wanna have him out and maybe accidentally forget about him and then he falls out of his little pouch. I mean, he's done really good. Like, I mean, every time I've had him out, he never comes out of the pouch. So he's done really good, but I've been trying to make sure that the days I have him out are days where, you know, I can really kind of pay attention to, you know, and, and either the weather's not that bad, so I'm not having to like focus on a whole bunch of other things as well. So um, I did bring him out the other day when there was snow, but oh well, I lost that video. So anyway, he's enjoying himself. His time on the AT, aren't you, baby Yoda? Yeah, he's had a good time. So far this day has been pretty awesome, and this trail has been pretty awesome, even with the ups. They really haven't been that bad. Maybe this is George's way of sending you off in style. We're going to let you leave on a positive note. Hope you enjoyed your stay in Georgia. All right, since I lost the video footage of Baby Yoda playing in the snow, I thought I'd let him play in the snow again so he could be on video. Say hi, Baby Yoda. Say hi to YouTube. Are you enjoying the AT? Hmm? All right, this is Blue Ridge Gap. So this is like an ATV road for ATVs. Oh, okay, I guess we're going this way. Yep, there's a place. Oh, I was like, that seems kind of weird. We're going this way. <sighs> oh, about to enter. Southern Nantahala Wilderness. Cool. Just in case you all were wondering, the snow has not completely melted yet. So I keep kind of going between no snow on the trail and then snow on the trail. It's all good. It's all good. It's still a nice day. Quite a significant amount of snow here. Yeah, well, lots and lots of snow. All right, you guys. Well, I officially have less than a mile of Georgia left. So, I think this calls for a little music. Georgia, Georgia, the whole day through. There's no sweet song keeps Georgia on my mind. Well, I ran into some subscribers on my channel. Uh, you want to tell me y'all's names? Uh, Pocket and Shark. <laughs> We're the happy hiking couple. Happy hiking couple, and they're on Instagram. And then, you, do you have a YouTube yet, or you're going Not to have yet. one? Not yet. As soon as we're done with this weekend which is our second yeah. hike of Georgia. We're gonna start that probably the following week. Awesome. Yeah. So is this your first state then you've done for section? Oh, yes. awesome. Yes. Awesome. Uh, what channel name do you think you'll have? It'll be Happy Hiking Couple. Happy Hiking Couple too. Okay. Yeah. 
All right, you guys have to check them out. Well, it's nice to meet you all. Nice to meet you too. <laughs> uh, we're almost to a sign. We're almost there. crossed out of Georgia. <sighs> One state down, 13 to go. <laughs> I mean, I know it's just, I mean, I know I haven't made the 100 mile mark yet, but <sighs> just having the opportunity to come out here, fulfill my dreams. <laughs> It just doesn't seem real in some ways. And here I am. I got one state down in 10 days. Officially 11 because today's the 11th day, but I took a zero. So 10 days, I'm right on schedule. And it's just crazy. I'm in Georgia. I'm in North Carolina. All right. Goodbye, Georgia. Hello, North Carolina. <laughs> wow. Oh, man. Baby Yoda, you did it. You hiked through Georgia. Now you're, look, you're on the border of Georgia and North Carolina. <laughs> How's it feel? You did so good. All right, we're blocked up. Oh my God, look at this tree. Isn't that kind of cool? Look at this crazy looking tree. Holy smoke. Wow. Let me zoom out. Wow. It's, it's almost like a sleigh with a reindeer or something. <laughs> kind of crazy. And here is what the surrounding area looks like. You got a little bit of some views there, a little bit. A lot of snow still up here. And that's where we were just a few minutes ago down there. All right, I'm hungry. We're gonna have a lunch. See why this Nemo uh, foam pad is so amazing. I can take my shoes off, relax, I stay warm. Oh my gosh, this feels so good just taking my shoes off for a few minutes. Oh. So the really cool part is I'm only 2.8 miles from the campsite. <laughs> so, but I'm gonna stop because I think it is, let's see what time it is. It is. 1230. Yeah, so it's like, oh my gosh. I'm so, like, I can't believe how, I mean, we started the trail at 730. So maybe that's why, because we started pretty early. That's the only time. We can only get a shuttle at like 650. So, uh, which I guess worked out because, like I said, it's only 1230 right now. And, um, yeah, so I'm only 2.8. That's it, which is like, an hour and a half of hiking, maybe at the most. Oh my gosh, it feels so good. Feels so good just to sit down for a minute because I really haven't taken a break. I know I'm terrible about doing that. Um, I mean, even though it's a nice day, I just so badly wanted to get to the border. I uh, did, you know, and I'm just, I don't know. So I just, I just pushed through <laughs> so I could get here. So now I'm gonna take my break. Even though it's later than I probably should have, but it's fine. Um, all right, let's eat something. All right, this is lunch. It's tortilla with that uh, tuna creations, salad tuna creations, and then I got some chili cheese Fritos. Oh, yeah. Mm. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. mm. Well, I just came from way down there, and I gotta go. Check this out. All the way up there, all the way up there. Doesn't really look like to me that steep in the video. And another fun fact: apparently, North Carolina is much cooler than Georgia, because. I put my jacket back on, and it's a little chilly. I could almost wear gloves again. Oh, oh my gosh, this is deep. Holy smoke. Okay, I have to put this one away. It's 
So apparently, North Carolina is trying to show who's boss. I literally just climbed straight up the side of a mountain face. I'm not joking. Like, it, there was no switchback. It was just straight up a mountain. Like, to the point of my heels, my feet were like this as I was climbing. So it was like hurting the back of my heels. Worst part is, I ain't done. <laughs> There's another huge looking, oh man. Is that what I gotta go up? I think it is. Oh Lord. Maybe not. Okay, okay, maybe not, maybe not. I'm pretty sure though. Because I'm only halfway through according to the elevation chart. Man, that was rough. Maybe I should put the blue jacket on. Oh god. Oh I'm not climbing that. Oh I hope I'm not. Ooh. It doesn't look like we're going that way. So I thought I was going up this route over there. But I'm going this way. So I don't know. It's weird. Okay. Anyway. Oh, that was rough. Yeah. I'm telling you folks. Oh, there is a reason that the stats say. It's like climbing Mount Everest 16 times because there's a lot of steep. Oh man, I keep looking to see where I'm going here. It's freaking me out. Oh, oh yeah, 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 it goes right up there. <laughs> oh God. Oh, North Carolina, you got to show your ass. We get it, you're hard, okay? Buh. I mean, come on. That's just mean. Holy smoke. I, you cannot tell in this video. But basically, uh, I can't do it. I'm just telling you, oh my God, it might be the safest thing I've hiked yet. It really might be. Maybe I'm being a drama queen. I don't think so. Holy smoke. You know what's worse than climbing a mountain straight up? It's climbing a mountain straight up in snow. Can't even tell you the significance of how hard that was. I mean, I'm, and I can't believe I made it to the top and I'm still alive. If I climb any higher, I'm going to heaven. And of course, I am climbing higher. I mean, I know I got worse probably coming up north, but look, I'm still in my infancy stages. Oh man! Oh Lord, I just gotta laugh. I'm pretty sure those two trees are a doorway that takes me into another world. So I apparently just climbed like Mount whatever. Oh my God, Narnia. That's where I'm headed. Oh yeah. I mean, look at all the snow. Oh my God, finally getting down. Okay, North Carolina. You need to calm down. I mean, come on. We can't be doing that kind of crap all the time. <sighs> Holy smoke. I really need to see what that elevation gain was. I'm going to really be mad if it wasn't that much. But, oh, that was hard. Oh, oh. Maybe it's just because it's about the end of the day. I don't know. Okay. Oh, God, maybe it's not like a total wimp or something. But it said it was like 450 feet of elevation gain over half a mile. Like, well, four tenths of a mile, I guess you could say. But the thing is, there was no switchbacks. Like, none. It was just straight up. I don't know. I just know it was hard. At least it was hard for me. I don't know. Oh, well, I'm off that. The unfortunate, the unfortunate part is, I think there's one more climb. And I'm praying it's not like that. Hopefully, North Carolina. You know what? What am I saying? Because when I hike in the Smokies in North Carolina, they don't give you switchbacks. Somebody, whoever designed the North Carolina trails, they they like to they like to make people work hard. 
Oh, there's a blue blaze that's freaking me out. Hello. Oh, okay. Whew. Just saw the white blaze. I'm, I like freaked out for a second. I'm like, if I just climbed the long trail, I'm going to lose it. I'm going to lose it. But apparently there's a blue blaze coming up. Whoa! See? Snow and it's melting. It's the worst. Oh my gosh. Okay, phone away. Man, I'm in the middle of my second climb in the North Carolina side. Oh my God. This is ridiculous. It's not even done yet. And there's all this like slushy, like snow stuff. So you're slipping on it as you climb. And I don't know, I mean, I, I feel good when I start for lunch right before, you know, I started kind of climbing. And I don't know if it's just this climbing that's just so hard or I'm just tired. I don't feel like that's it. I feel like it's the climb. I mean, it's, I mean, I know this is all part of it. It's just, ooh, man, it's like, come on. Come on, North Carolina. Don't make a bad impression, for God's sake. Oh, well, I guess it just is what it is, right? I mean, my God, I got 12 other states. I'm sure they're not any better. <laughs> just, ugh. And I think, you know, I mean, it's pretty steep already, but this, uh, like, slushy snow crap makes it so much worse. Because, like, my feet keep kind of slipping. For around the band, no, trap on, uh, mark spots would not help with this. Just in case anybody's wondering. Okay. So it's funny. I was all like, at lunch, I was excited. I was like, well, I've only got 2.8 miles left. And now it's more like, oh God, I got 2.8 miles left. I still got one more climb, like pretty significant before I get to the campsite. Look at the view. And it shows a blue blaze. Where the crap is that going? Off the side of the cliff? Because you're exhausted and you just can't do it anymore. I don't know what that goes to. Let me look. Yeah, it's a view. It doesn't say what of. We're at 4492 elevation. I had to take this thing off because the up was. I'm sweating like a pig. Yeah, I had to legitimately stop on this rock and sit because I'm hurting. My feet are hurting. Oh, I still got 1.7. Which doesn't sound like that much, but when you're basically still going up. And then I get a little bit of a down, but then I gotta go straight back up again. And then down to get to the shelter. And obviously so far in North Carolina, the ups suck. So it went from going up and now I'm going down, but it's all on the snow. And it's pretty slick. So no camera out. Ugh. Another sassafras gap. Good gracious. Bleh. That's like three on the AT so far. These are always fun. You can see a little bit down into town there. Not sure what town that is, but. Well, looks like we have a water source. The shelter area. That is so weird. Okay. Shelter. All right. Ah, oh, someone Cheater. apparently Cheater. can't spell Cheater. shelter. Cheater. Okay. Let's go. Huh. Picnic table. There's a picnic table. There's supposed to be tent pads. Going on here. Hmm, where are the tent pads? So pretty. And look, people are like, who leaves their stuff? Which is so odd. Okay. Um, hmm. I don't see the tent pads. But then again, it's there's snow everywhere. And it sets them up 
some decent tent pads. But where? Okay, I'm gonna look around. I hate it when people do this kind of stuff. Oh, really? They're not cool. So that's just we muskrat. I don't see any muskrats, but I see a lot of vandalism. Here's where we're at. This is where we had talked about going to. White Oak Stamp, Old Roadbed. I don't know, I'm almost thinking about it. This is just kind of fear. All right, so we are not standing at this shelter after all. We're going to hike up to White Oak Stamp. It's a campsite. It's eight tenths of a mile. It's a pretty easy hike, pretty flat. So we went ahead and got our water. I have it on the back of my pack. You can't see it. Hopefully it doesn't fall off or spill out. Um, and there just wasn't it. So the comments were that there was good camp, three like good, three good tent spots. Well, I didn't see them. I mean, could, could be because there's snow. I don't know. So anyway, so me, Poppins, another guy, actually don't remember his name, um, and then a couple, and a couple are gonna go up to our stamp. So hopefully, maybe we're going into some sun since we're going up just a little bit. Maybe this tent spots will be easier to find. Hopefully, we'll find out. That's really close. Sorry, we're trying to figure this out. That's the trail. This is camp. There's a red. Staying the night here, beautiful spot. <laughs> Hiking north, spotted. Do you think we? Seven. So do you think we should be going like north or more more north on the AT here? No, I think we should go down that way to where it says camp. Ooh, spooky. Well, I'm already in my tent. I have my dinner. It's cold. There's snow everywhere. So I didn't film for our campsite. Um, I don't know if I'll get it filmed or not tomorrow because it's supposed to rain. So, um, sorry, not really. That looks really creepy, but that looks worse. Which is worse, I don't know. Anyway. Anyway, um, so, I guess not a whole lot to say, but it was a pretty good day. And, I mean, did 12, almost 13 miles today. Um. I know those two times. <laughs> Chives! Oh God! Uh, <laughs> Chives just showed up. Oh Lord! <laughs> uh, he had yeah. a he he got delayed because he had to go back and get his phone. Yeah. He left in the shuttle. Oh my gosh! I can't imagine that'd be horrible. Anyway, so I don't really have a whole lot to say right now. Maybe later. So I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye.